Hi everyone, my name is Naledi and you're welcome once again. And I'm standing here with Brother Rustic. So, Mr. Rustic, will you please tell us more about yourself? Um, I'm a music producer. I've been doing production and essay for well over 10 years now. Started out with Cashless Society. I've been producing for Young Nations, Zulu Boy, Flabba, um, you know, list goes on. Um, plenty of dudes I've produced for overseas as well. I've done commercials on TV, uh, and I'm working on my own project as well. So um, out of all those careers out there, why did you choose music out of all those careers? Um, you know, it's funny because I always just love being around um, good music and a partner of mine in, in the U.S. actually was the one who got me into music because I was hanging around him and he used to always play the keyboard and sample music and do stuff and I just shown an interest in it and you know it wasn't long before I was doing the same thing. Cool and how is it being in the music industry? Uh, it's good. It has its ups and downs. Um, you know, uh, you got to work hard. You got to put in the time and effort. You got to do your research. You got to study. You know, it's a constant learning of knowledge and picking up things and just uh, being on top of the game of what's happening. You know, if the sound is changing, you need to kind of move with it, you know. But, um, you know, I, what can I say? I love being in it. Um, can I ask who's your favorite artist and what inspired you to like follow the music industry and all that? Well, favorite artist, man, that's a tough question. Who would you look up to like when you singing and doing all your thing? Well, I think I was influenced by a lot of the, you know, a lot of music I used to listen to through my mom's records and my, you know, Bob Marley, uh, you know, uh, you know, OJ's and and Michael Jackson and uh, of course you know some one of my producers that I all-time produces Quincy Jones and of course Dr. Dre. So there the are a lot of people out there who are like they have like talents based on singing and all that so how would you tell them to like feather their singing careers and get on top like just like you did? Well you know um, it's very important that you know there's we were just having this conversation earlier but talent is great but you need to be able to put in the work and you need to be able to know that talent only really counts for a third of what you need to do in the industry so um, you need to put in the work you need to take care of you, you as a business and as a brand so when you're doing the music that's only like part of what you need to complete in terms of your goal so you know it's 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 in terms of working hard staying focused and just you know being on top of your game so what are you like looking up to right now like what can we look up to you uh well i, I got a i got a project that's coming out you know um called black water it's a partner with uh with me and my partner in california um silence them all uh we got a uh, ep that's coming out uh that we're gonna uh, we've got a few videos we've shot we've worked with a few artists around the world. Uh, we worked with Irk the Jerk from the Bay Area. We've worked with Hussein uh, from New York, who's done tracks with Mos Def and you know uh, quite a few other uh, lists of people. And uh, we also worked with local talent like like MXO. Uh, and also my you know I got a project that I'm launching called Beat Resource, and it's all about getting producers in the industry to collaborate, share information and knowledge, beat making videos, tutorials, you know, a lot of things. It's going to be a dope site, beatresource.com. Oh, wow, that's so awesome. It was nice having you on the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate